Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to the Robot Revolution Civilizations Challenge of the Month. I have not yet played this. I did load it up once, saw the kind of insanity that is the start, which is this madness. We're starting off turn off 416 out of 500. I believe we're in the information era. Yeah, we start in info era. Welcome to the city of Ottawa. I have no idea what's going on in this map. I can only assume what robot revolution means. We start off with a AT crew and we need to start thinking about what the heck we're going to do with our production. Now, unfortunately, our current situation is not ideal. I don't even know what's going on here. It's a score victory a hundred turns from now. Let's open up the little bit of a Google. Are there great profits? There are no great profits, so no religion can be earned, presumably. I will get a pantheon at least. You get five points for every city. You get three points for a district, five points for a wonder. So wonders are worth as much as a city. You get three points for great people, two points for religion, two points for each civic, two points for each technology, one point per citizen. So every five pops basically increases the score of a city, basically doubles it or whatever. Well, it seems like the most important thing to do here is to settle like crazy, which means I think we're going to need production. It takes us seven turns to build a settler. We're going to need an industrial zone. Why is that industrial zone high production? Because it gets production from the adjacent district and the adjacent strategic resource. Okay, so they're, they're starting to formulate an idea here. Oh, I could build an aqueduct. Where else could I build a canal? Okay, so I could build an aqueduct or a canal. The aqueduct would give me freshwater housing in here, which I believe the city does not have. So if I slap down an aqueduct here, boom, then if I could eventually get the industrial zone here, that's a plus four. Can't be placed on burnt woods. I understand that. That will be a mine. This will be a lumber mill and this will be a lumber mill getting this up to be a plus five industrial zone, which I think kickstarts the city pretty hard. Now the ice hockey rink, what does that actually get? Ice hockey rink. Plus one amenity, plus one culture for each adjacent tundra, plus two food and plus two production if the professional sports is unlocked and extra culture for it's adjacent to a stadium. I think we're going to step on here to get this chopping. We definitely want to get this industrial zone type of thing up and running. We're probably going to want an encampment as well. So we can think a little bit about how our encampment will be placed. Because these are just we, just, we just need production, right? We're going to build all the things that give production because that's important so that we can make the settlers. Probably also want really high production so we can make strong late game units. Production is going to be the way that we build our way out of this game. I don't even want to scout here. I definitely know I'm going to start researching professional sports. Oh, we have it. Never mind. Let's make our way to globalization. We have to think about our government. Communism would give us the greatest boost right now. Fascism could be a good way to get score, especially because it has that production towards units, which includes settlers, I believe. So I think we are going to take fascism here. This is a score oriented run and fascism can earn you a lot of score really quickly. Let's do veterancy so we build our encampments faster. We'll do expropriation to build settlers faster. Logistics so our units can move quicker. Oh, apparently discipline, you can't get the barbarian combat card anymore. I'm assuming that there's going to be barbarian giant death robots everywhere. That's my assumption. If I know the save developers, I know that's what they've done. I'm going to plug in invention because this is going to be something we go straight for as a great engineer. They might be really useful. I'll also plug in Machiavellianism. Then I guess I'll go for military first plus lightning warfare. And military organization should help us with great generals. This should all point in the direction that my save wants to go. In terms of research, rocket artillery could be handy. Modern AT is a useful unit. Choosing my Pantheon. Oh, do we want to get a Tundra here for faith? It's a great way to generate faith. I mean, this is like if I pop a holy site right now, that's worth like six faith for the rest of the game. That's even worth plus seven here. Would mean I'd need to put another district here. I'll take the plus six right there and I will immediately build that holy site because that faith could be really useful if I decide to go for a government plaza. We are going to grab ourselves probably Pingala as he gives the best the scaling benefits from being a governor with like three drops in it. Then we'll hold on to our other ones till we know what to do with it. So there's the holy site. I did hear a barb camp appear down there and I'm scared of it. We can go investigate a little bit. I'm going to place the encampment to get that finished. I'm going to chop out a settler. Boosh. We'll see what we can do with that. Plus the settler can actually see pretty far from what I can tell. Okay, encampment is done. Let's get that aqueduct. Oh boy! I was right! <laughs> uh oh. Let's squeak this builder, this settler over here on these mountains. Improve that mine. A nice seven production tile, which is ideal. Yeah, that guy just straight up died. This is a pretty good city for a harbor of some kind. Like if we settle here, ice hockey rink right there. How much to buy a builder? Oh, they're lovely and cheap because I haven't actually made any this game. So we'll drop a woods right there. We'll move you in to get that improved. I reckon there's going to be an aqueduct going here because I believe you get you get it from any district, right? Yeah, yeah. Every district gets you era score. It doesn't have to even be the good kind of district. So we can do something like this. 
get even more production. Might be good to get a harbour in here to make boats. I don't know how extensive these seas are, but it is something we can look into. I'm waiting for these forests to stop being burnt. They're very crispy forests. I am being tempted by a dam here. No, not a dam, sorry. I'm being tempted by a canal here and then putting a government plaza right there, which I think we will do. Even though I wasted a builder charge on that, that's fine. We are gonna need some food in here to feed this city, like so. I'll put a mine there, settle this. City will shoot and city will shoot. You're gonna get that industrial zone. Could be good to get a neighborhood in here at some point too. I think an extra builder is the key thing that we need in here. So I'll buy that. Don't want a spaceport. A neighborhood could be useful, but I don't wanna to have to buy a tile to place it. So I will quickly get Ancestral Hall so we can pump out settlers here. That's gonna be the main goal of this city, which means we're gonna eventually appoint Magnus with the provision promotion in the city. I can't help but feel I like activated his almonds. Hold on, let's try this again. I learned my lesson. Don't scout outside your borders unless you want, unless you're ready to deal with the GDR. Just don't do it. There's no, there's no reason. There's no reason, okay? There is zero reasons to scout outside your border while there's a GDR wandering around out there, okay? That's just, I, just, I, I learned that thing. It's just, it's a, it's a fact of life that I discovered and we're just, we're, we're going to restart this scenario. Okay, we're going to try it, we're going to try it again. All right, here we are. But boom, we're back. Okay, same set of moves. Boom, you're in there. You, you're fortified. You're not going anywhere. Maybe we should skip the holy site. The holy site's great for faith, but I, there's nothing I can really do with faith right now. Let's buy ourselves a builder. I could also buy a settler. We'll go straight for that government plaza. We don't want to actually build settlers until we have the thing that optimizes them. We will get builders to make this city stronger via placing these tile improvements. I totally forgot to plug in the card that gives my builders extra charges. Probably pretty important. Third alternative is gonna be a thing that carries us. Third alternative plus veterancy, plus logistics, plus military first. That's the direction we wanna go. Already I learned so much in like five turns. And even then it's kind of what I'm doing right now is suboptimal based on what I've just, like the thoughts I've just had in my head. I would have had two more build charges, it would have been nice. Oh my God, religious settlements, obvious, easiest pick of my life. I can't believe I didn't even see that last time. I'd like tunnel visioned on the faith, like a dumbass, when I could instantly get a settler, easy. Okay, so we wanna chop out the ancestral hall with this 160 production chop and then overflow that into a builder. Now that, my friends, is a play. And if I settle this city here, it'll be on fresh water. That might work a little bit better. Okay, nice, the overflow came through. Build that mine, go here, build that ice hockey ring. I'm hearing barb camps appear everywhere. It's terrifying, it's scary. Okay, let's pop the aqueduct down here. We'll appoint Magnus, but we won't actually use him yet. We'll take the provision promotion. Put my encampment down here to the south. Get that placed. Boom farm, boom farm. I wanna save my last district slot. I will build the aqueduct though. Found city, boom, free settler, huge. Or free, free, free builder rather. Get that industrial zone. The plus four over there, it will be higher. And we're gonna reassign Pingala to Hamilton and Magnus to Ottawa. If I have to use internal trade routes, I'll probably take surplus logistics anyway and trade from Hamilton to Ottawa because this will be the best city to do that too. Plus three era score for an industrial zone of high adjacency. It does start out with a workshop. We have 15 production in here, which is not that much. Really, 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 really not. Let's grab that harbor, pop it down there. I guess we could chop out a settler and I guess we can do that again because that just seems like a really valuable way to use these resources. I am very scared of extending outside of my borders. One might say I am terrified. First I was afraid, I was petrified. We need to make fighters or something. Oh hey, you know, a commercial hub would go pretty nicely right there. I will slowly build a barracks in my capital. Go get that oil. This time we have not triggered the giant death robot, which somehow feels a, it feels a little nice. You know, I'm, ha I'm happy for us. All right, drop the canal, boom. One turn that canal for production. That'll be a really good re invest return on investment there. Okay, it doesn't look so bad over here. We're able to get a few cities up. So score is my main goal. I need to get as much score as possible. Each city I settle is worth five. Each pop is worth one. I'm not even gonna think about wonders. That's absurd to me right now. Could build a biplane, but it's 15 turns, which seems like a very, very long time. I'll get a builder. All right, we'll settle on the coal. Do we wanna settle on the coal? I think we sneak out an extra tile. Okay, there's a GDR. That's fine, honestly. We should be able to deal with this. It'll take us a little bit of time shooting and stuff. I think the trick is I want things that can attack it without being attacked back. And I don't know where I'm gonna get aluminium. So, but here's the thing. 
I don't know what the air defense of these things look like. I don't even know if, if, if there is aluminium on this map for me to make use of. I think the thing I should totally produce is at least one machine gun to make my city attacks better. Okay, we should totally slap down an encampment here, like in his face, to claim the land. And then appoint Victor into Vancouver to give the city better defense. And then we promote it with Garrison Commander and Embrasure, so the city gains two strikes. Boom. I think there's something to this, this play we've got going here. So one. Then it would be good if we could like chop out a machine gun. If we can get to this tile and chop it, we could get the machine gun in the encampment and start blasting that fool. Oh, I really don't like settling on the one of the few chops that I have on this map. So what if I move this down a tile to here and then canaled to the sea? It's a little bit better, I think. Boom, canal to there. Although it would have been nice actually to canal to here and then canal to here and canal to here. That means I can get boats from Hamilton all the way to Montreal, which is a, I'm not gonna say a mistake, but like it's gonna be a regret for me that I didn't do that. Okay, we're slowly chipping away at this giant death robot's health. It's happening. Ski resort there. We'll do another ski resort to make the city even better. Ow, my builder was stolen. Step in there, chop him out. Machine gun, take the garrison promotion. Now you'll do slightly more damage. The city gets to shoot twice. He'll try to steal the builder probably. Montreal could put an encampment behind this guy. I really do think this encampment shots are the play here. Build a harbor in Vancouver to help that city grow. Ski resort there. Okay, so we're shooting this thing twice. And you're getting shot twice as well. And then by the machine gun, easy. Easy robot revolution crushed. Go ahead and make me more settlers. I do think the thing to build here is an ice hockey ring. It just makes this tile way more workable. Got a settler out in Hamilton. Be good if I could get a submarine. I think those would be useful. Too bad I don't get a chop. It'll take 19 turns, which feels like crazy long. You know what might be better? Is if I get traders. I could be go to go for vertical integration as well on Magnus, just to lock that in. Place the industrial zone. I'll work on a machine gun in Montreal. I do have the card to make machine guns be built faster, but it's just the sheer amount of production they cost to make is kind of the thing holding us back there. Okay, we made the giant death robot over here retreat, which is a good goal. Chop, machine gun mostly done. Let's get some mines up in Vancouver. Oh man, I think I need to like, I need to like swing out here to the left. This is like, oh, he's shooting back. Okay, well, at least he's he's shooting from range. I'm hoping that if I retreat the machine gunner away from the fortification, he'll like be tempted to come for us. I know under most normal circumstances, I wouldn't want the AI, you know, giant death robot to come to come for me. But in this case, I'm actually kind of okay with it. Yeah, he did come forward. Perfect. Which means we can dart the machine gunner forward. Shoot this twice. If I take my gold and I buy this tile and I step onto it and chop it, boom. My machine gunner comes out. My cities get to strike. There's also a barbarian destroyer over here, which is fun. I hope I didn't actually finish this stupid canal. Oh boy, he's going for the blood. One barbarian death, a giant death robot is almost dead. It's not much of a consolation, but it is there. Let's build the armory and the military academy in the capital, sort of work towards those. And see if we can sneak a settler along the shore to the west. Okay, he pillaged for money there, which is not what I would expect a barbarian giant death robot to care about money i respect it one food three production for trading with hamilton i think trading from the capital to my other cities is the way to do it because it's going to be how we make the capital strong enough to actually do things giant death robot one down which means there should be a little bit of clear land to our south in terms of giant death robot so i'm going to start moving units that way i would like to settle here if i put an industrial zone here i put an aqueduct here and i put a canal there that's a plus five boom Easily done. Three turns of production for a huge upgrade in productivity. It looks like he's trying to come back. Yoink that builder. We liberated him. We're moving machine guns down to the south. I would like to combine these if I could, ideally. Nice big old farm triangle. I think I will lock those in because of the sheer amount of growth they provide. Kind of crazy. Even if it massively weakens the production, I don't care about that because the growth will be huge long term. I know this map doesn't have a very long, long term, but that's fine. It's allowed to be a short long term map. I'm scared to explore with this settler. But what choice do I have? Oh, these barbs share vision. That guy's going to swoop in. Oh, no, he didn't swoop. Hey, Abraham, how's it going? It's an honor to meet you. Now we can actually measure how we're doing in comparison to him. So we're similar on civics. My empire is way better. Otherwise, it's the same. Okay, great. Oh, this is big. Before he can get a pillage off, we should get... Oh, come on. Just barely not enough damage. Let's get a settler from the capital. That's the only thing about building farms is you basically give your enemy health pinatas. Oh, Torres. Okay. A little bit of potential in that idea. Should totally have the double adjacency card plugged in for industrial zones. Having a few farms is not the worst thing. I think an ice hockey ring here. Destroyer swooped in to do damage. There's a GDR. I think that's about as far south as I feel safe going. Super need to kill this thing faster. 
If I can bait him into melee with my guy, he won't heal. Do have to sacrifice a unit for that, which sucks. Quickly grab a harbor in Quebec. Can I get this kill? No, not this turn. Here's what I can do. I might be able to bait him in with a settler though. Let's grab the military academy. It's gonna allow us to produce armies and cores cheaper. Settling this weird island city. It's called Toronto. Sounds kind of weird. I don't know why anyone would ever want to live there. Okay, settler bait worked. Boom, giant death robot down. So I've killed two, got my settler back. Honestly, I'm starting to think spamming settlers might be the way to win this scenario. Spamming settlers and chopping what little chops are there because that seems to be working for me. Right, pop a little another ice hockey ring down here. I reckon could settle on the iron, would maybe rather settle beside the iron and get an industrial zone. Put a lumber mill beside it, put a lumber mill beside it, put two mines beside it, and then replace these farm tiles down here with lumber mills. I think that's gonna be the general play we go with this area. We just want a bunch of industrial zones in range of the capital so that it can benefit from all of them when we build them up thanks to vertical integration. Let's combine some machine guns. It would also be really nice if these forests would regrow. They seem to be perma burnt, which is fine. If that's the way it is for the whole game, I mean, that's fine. It's just like, it would be nice if they weren't perma burnt. Hey, let's take volley on this guy. We'll combine them together. Now we got an 87 combat strength unit capable of actually, I, I, I wouldn't say going toe to toe with the giant death robot, but better able to go toe to toe with him. It's not quite toeing off, but it's, it's, it's getting there. A military engineer wouldn't go amiss either. So I'm going to quickly grab like two of those in the capital to start building out my railroad infrastructure. Settle the city, boom. Drop the industrial zone, boom. Drop the harbor. Why not, right? Like it's a district that gives us a trade route. Let's start building these tiles. Plus three error score. Encampment building has been completed. Perfect. Shoot him. Hide in the city. We could do a pasture here. I think it's fine. The three food, three production tile. It's a reasonable tile. We're building a destroyer in here to try to control the water. I think a single destroyer should give us naval supremacy. I'm really tempted to just buy this tile and make this barb camp go away. We did get a settler in here. How much movement do these things have? The five tiles of movement. So it's kind of scary. Let's run you to the encampment. Honestly, I think this plus two industrial zone is fine because it'll hit the city. Capital city with its bonuses if we build it up. My machine gun army is getting over here to fight. Now I never wanted to fight on anything other than a district tile because it does have plus two, plus five, plus ten combat strength on district tiles. So that's, that's kind of an important thing. However, I think I can bait this giant death robot over to standing beside this city where this guy will be able to shoot him and I'll be able to get four city shots thanks to Victor. I think there is something to be said there. I'm going to go for the factory and the coal power plant in Vancouver. Slowly build those up. Charlotte Town, you on the other hand are going to need another builder. So why don't you do that real quick for me? I can sneak my settler over here to get some uranium and oil actually. I'm kind of annoyed if these burnt woods never regrow. I just wasted a district slot in my capital. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. We're figuring it out. All we have to do is win, right? Like, that's all that needs to happen. We just need to win. I do like this whole Civ challenge thing, though. It's kind of cute. It's very neat. Can I bait you forward, sir? Come say hi. So in Charlottetown, we want to chop out more machine guns. I think machine guns are our best weapons as it stands against the plague of giant death robots that scour the land. Calgary will get a industrial zone plus a encampment on this tile. Maybe I can bait him with a settler instead of a builder. The builder might not be juicy enough for him. I wouldn't mind the extra population growth. So I'm going to pump all my things into that. I would like to encourage the production of coal power plants. Abraham got the thing, but he banned oil power plants, which is fine. We got the industrial zone in Quebec and we do have to deal with this industrial, the, uh, the GDR. I think we're safe to approach him and attack. I don't think he can one shot us, so we should be okay to do that. I am kind of hoping that he tries to kill that builder and then forget that he has a turn, which is exactly what happened. Talk about beast. And then we can do the same with the settler. I do have access to some oil, so it might be good for me to start making biplanes because if I do find out aluminum, I can't upgrade them. So that is the hope that I'm going for here. Repair the lighthouse and get ourselves another couple traders on the roll. This guy has sat still. Perfect. So we killed another giant death robot. Enemy down. We've got some machine gunners finishing up. Oh, there's another GDR over there. Okay, so quickly retreat and we'll see what we can do about that GDR. Factory completed, providing AOE production to the capital. Vertical integration is all buildings at regional bonuses, not just the first. So unironically, and it's rare that I would say this, but stacking nuclear power plants could be powerful because that plus four production and plus three science will go to the capital. It is only three turns more expensive than a coal power plant, but it gets us a lot more regional production. Let's see, can we bait this guy? with a settler. It might work. It might not. Let's shoot him. He's already got a unit that he's kind of killed. So I don't know if we can really like entice him any further. 
Let's get the military academy. It's worth quite a bit of gold and culture and production. We'll get those online. I'm waiting for my machine gunners to all get into a roughly similar place. Well, I can combine these two together. I would like to build more machine gunners. What I really need is money. Unfortunately, a lot of the tiles that I would have used to get money are just not going to cut it for me right here. We do have our first biplane. It means I can redeploy this to Quebec City. I really want to place this industrial zone, but I can't put it here, which is annoying. Very, very annoying. So 15 turns for an artillery, or I can get an artillery in seven turns and actually start using it. I think I would prefer to build like the drone and the supply convoy out of the capital and see if we can't get artillery the old fashioned way from combining. Also getting these fishing boat tiles online would be amazing for my economy. I right, shoot you with the district, capture that builder. We can move our settlers out now. There's a really nice city over here. I think I'm gonna maybe knock this city in place to generate gold. Thinking like Harbour Commercial Hub, that's your job. Let's deploy the biplane over Hamilton and redeploy the trade route to Ottawa. We do have a golden age secured, which is quite nice. And we can now start striking with the biplane. And at least he'll start getting level ups, which will lead to him doing more damage over the long term of the game. In terms of score, it looks like we're winning pretty hard. 482 score is quite nice. What spam settling gets you. Looking at the city of Montreal, we've got an encampment. We could justify a harbor if we wanted the gold. I think we're going to need some sort of unit. I'll grab a builder and then I'll work on a destroyer because I need to deal with the ocean stuff. Maybe the biplane could help with that too. And honestly, if the biplane can help with that, then we could probably go straight to the harbor for cash. Maximizing our score by growing population, getting these tiles improved. Yep, trade internally because we just want you to be really, really, really productive. There's rocket artillery. Shoot him. You're going to squirrel your way up to here so we could just get rail down. We got rocket artillery. I think the next thing to research is probably jet fighters and missile cruisers. Let's get those nuclear power plants. I think those are going to make a difference. We have a destroyer in here, which makes me feel confident to get the two builders I need to improve the rest of the city's tiles. And then I would feel confident to get the seaport to make the city a really good gold generator because I'm, I'm struggling for gold right now. But other than that, I think we're good. We're going to move you forward a tile. We're going to settle you instantly. We'll shoot you move you forward a tile and shoot you that'll get us to kill you're gonna pop into the water to start improving those tiles you halifax will place the harbor boom and place the commercial hub and we'll build both of those consecutively to try to increase our gold income. Now, in terms of governor titles, I do think that Reina is the play and I might just pop her into Halifax for now uh, because she gives the adjacency bonus stuff. This is a perfectly reasonable city here. It's not very good. It's not very late epic, but what it does do is it gives me the ability to build another harbor and commercial hub to spam out gold, which is what we want here. Okay, there's a GDR smashing into Halifax. That's fine. He will be a broken man on a Halifax pier in a short, short amount of time. We got the military academy in Calgary, which leads me to believe that we can build military units in here pretty effectively. I think I would like to get the nuclear power plant in here as well. I want to supercharge my capital. Perfect. We have the drone, which will give us access to extra combat power on our siege units. When we finally get around to building those siege units, that is. We'll drop an ice hockey ring right there. A little bit of destroyer scouting. We want to be careful with how far we send our destroyer into the fog of war. We definitely want to be leveling this biplane. This is a choppable tile for sure. Boom. And that'll mean we finish that commercial hub, which it will get the city a decent amount of cash. In theory, saving us from the cash flow problems that we are potentially having. And since we are working a lot of sea tiles, I'm probably going to grab a flood barrier into a seaport here to try to maximize our income. Also, I'll place a neighborhood just for memes. Nuclear power plant just got completed. You're blasting those fools. Get up there and build that camp. Factory, we'll repair the harbor real quick and then we'll build the factory. You got your nuclear power plant. Apparently I'm getting a 40% boost of food from amenities, which is a little bit confusing. I'm not going to question that, but I do think an entertainment complex would actually be super good to grab here. All right, let's rebase this biplane into the city of Montreal so we can control the waters over here on the east. The GDR is shooting Halifax from out of the city's range. So we're going to blast it with the machine gun that walks forward. And we're also going to focus on on getting railway. Entertainment complex completed here. Let's get that stadium. Deploy our fighter to this tile. Okay, we have really good control of this ocean now. I think we grabbed the seaport in Montreal. Well, we should probably finish the industrial zone, honestly. And then the canal. Fish boat online. We are slowly but surely building up overwhelming capabilities for combat. Oh, was not expecting the machine gunner from downtown. Big damage completely eviscerating my machine gunner. The combo, you know, he could take one hit standing on that defensive terrain, but not in the way that we were hoping. Industrial zone completed. Let's grab ourselves the 
factory. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's in range because we want to get the coal. We want to get those nuclear power plants to soup up the cap. Right now, it's benefiting 12 production from factories, four from nuclear power plants. So we want to get the city's production up, 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 up. I'm a little bit annoyed that the forests never regrew because I planned around them regrowing and then they just never did. So let's start working on rocket artillery in the capital. Each one is 700 production. Another giant death robot has fallen. Boom, make a little fish boat. Factory done up here. Nuclear power plant is a go. Did my nuclear power plant just get taken out? God damn it. We had three turn repair too. We got all our fishing boats online. Probably a good idea for me to actually focus on making more aircraft. Even if they are biplanes, they provide me with unretaliatable damage. Damage that cannot be taken away from me. Found another giant death robot over here on the right. Repair that bad boy, improve that mine, and we are away. Oh, taking a little bit of damage here. That's okay. We definitely need to take out these machine gunners, though, because they can actually do damage to us, which we don't like. Who owns these tiles? It looks like it's split between all three cities. You know what? We could probably do a little bit of food in here. So I'll just place some farms. I'll step the machine gunner back, and then I'll take the garrison promotion and attack with the airplane in terms of choosing our late game stuff. Corporate libertarianism has some cool things, but I think I would much prefer to just stay fascist because it's a way more convenient government for me right now. A lot of tiles are damaged in here. Let's quickly grab ourselves a builder and work on a little bit of rocket artillery or something. Maybe machine guns, crank out a few machine gunners. All right, we got the seaport here in Halifax, meaning the cash flow is strong. The production is also great. I think a carpet of machine gunners could be pretty useful this game. I think I'd like to pop a city here, pop a harbor there, pop a commercial hub there, and an ice hockey rink there. I'll get my capital to work on settlers now um, pretty continuously as we have gotten our... We've basically got our economy online. It took us about 50 turns to get that going, but now our production should be insane enough to where we're able to just mass produce machine gunners. A couple of biplanes will give us like the strike power we need in certain areas. Factory completed in Hamilton. Nuclear power plant to boost the capital even further. Capital is now up over 80 production. There's Australia, honor to meet you. We could theoretically conquer Australia if we wanted better score. Is the goal to wipe out everyone or is the goal to win? Because if the goal is to win, we just chill and we settle as many cities as we want. Now, if the goal is to humiliate our enemies, well, now you're changing things. I would like to get a theater square here, mostly so I can remove some artifacts. Shipyard repaired then over here in Charlottetown. We got the thingy so we can get the archaeological museum. The gold is starting to stack up, which is nice. Nuclear power plant done in here. So this is a good place to probably produce some machine gun armies. Halifax has the harbor. Halifax has the commercial hub. Do we want to build up the encampment so that we can get more units? Probably not a terrible idea, honestly. Take a few turns, but it, I, I don't know if the encampment will give a return on its investment, but it will let my units level up faster, which seems nice. Well, I'm going to deploy my biplane down south. It looks like everything is relatively clean down here, so I can start sending settlers into the void. I wouldn't mind a settlement right there on the meteor. I hold down control that grabs a decent amount of land. I could do the harbor commercial hub combo for lots of gold. I can do a similar thing on this deer like so. And in this way I can make sure that I'm you know, generating really good revenue. Probably a good idea soon to plug in the um, commercial hub adjacency card. Let me go ahead and pay for that now. So I'm going to drop invention and instead I'm going to plug in economic union for the production and gold. That'll allow me to not have to worry and then I'll be able to spend my gold on certain things. Okay, my destroyer just got murked by a GDR, so I'm going to retreat him. We're settling yet another city. Harbor is going down, then the commercial hub. Pop out here, make the ice hockey ring. Seaport done in Toronto. The city's now cranking money. I build a flood barrier and then probably get me some more destroyers. Infantry moving forward to take him out. Machine gunner steps forward to take out this thing. Nuclear power plant done in Montreal. Try to maximize our score. So there's a decent amount of score we can get from going to war with people, which means battleships, aka missile cruisers, are not a bad investment. So I think I will plug in 100% production towards naval military units. And I'm probably going to start producing a tank army or two because military is a fantastic way to get a larger empire um, and thus a larger score and the bigger our score is the more impressive our victory that's how that works you know don't you know the bigger your score the bigger your victory information error ends in three turns plus four error score for a harbor with a high adjacency boom step in here settle the city we got a free tank let's go for america first i guess what do you got going in here let's grab that stable quebec city got us a machine gunner 
Make me some rocket arty. You got my archaeological museum. Get me an archaeologist. Got a harbor in here. Do the seaport. I'm kind of just screwing around and riffing and seeing what floats to the top of my consciousness when I'm making plans. You know, generally, I'm not really planning with any alacrity or any like grand scheme in mind. I'm just kind of, I'm screwing around. You know, I already won the challenge. I got to just, I got to fill out these last few turns, baby. Final city will get settled here. Harbor, comm hub. Boom, lots of money in there. All right, this biplane is leveled up. So I think going for strafe here on the right side, since it is going to be targeting ground units, that's the better direction to go. I will and I would prefer such. Nuclear power plant is completed in Hamilton. It's up to 124 production right now, which feels good. Got room for a couple districts here. I think the water park is a good play. AOE amenities. But there's the world games. Apparently I won the world games. Didn't even know what was happening. Didn't even remember. I would like fascism to get a extra wildcard policy slot and yeah, I prefer to have the extra trade route. Otherwise, I really don't care. I'm gonna be a real, it's just like, pfft. askers? Who gives a shit? Democracy won, Abraham Lincoln won, and the climate accords passed. Good God, what a travesty. Oh yeah, giant death robot. Thanks, free GDR. Yoink, Reno. Send that to go conquer America. America, America, America. Denounce. Freedom is the only way, yeah. Hey, Mato Tapila. We can do a little scouting over here on the west. I do like this whole area. And you scootle back this way. Nuclear fusion, thermonuclear device. Probably good to get giant death robots at some point. We might be able to buy them with gold. We do have the uranium. Got a hell of a lot of tiles improved here. Looking good, sir. We could use some missile cruisers. Let's build them. Y'all, let's get those missile cruisers. So we're not allowed to declare surprise wars. Gotta make sure we denounce these here bad guys so we can actually declare war a few turns when our GD GDR gets over there on their property. Let's drop the fat hockey, hockey rink. Get the harbor, badank. Get the commercial hub, badonk. And make sure that money flows through the veins of our empire. You son of a jerk. Damn it, now I have to like rebase and redeploy and do all that stuff. My capital can probably make a supporting tank army is pretty quick. Nine turns on a tank army. It's pretty good. Oh, poor Baltimore. We're about to smash that city up. That city is about to be this raided. Now, I think a key point in this war is we need to make sure that we absolutely kill this giant death robot the second we see it. Two more turns and we can declare the war. Nice. Let's go ahead and deploy the biplane. We have full overwatch over our enemy's territory. We're going to have to combine these tanks together to even have a chance to stand up. Get up, stand up for the GDR and fight. Nice. We've got a missile cruiser in Montreal. Guess what we're building after that? That's right. It is a missile cuck ruser. Violence is the answer sometimes in Civ. Industrial Zone Broadcast Center, Theater Square, bop, bop, bop. quickly get that flood barrier and then use your overflow production to get me mobile SAM support. Build an armory and then another tank. Commercial hub, done. Finally, let's go ahead and rebase this biplane to Toronto and we can deploy him here to assist in the battle, the battle of America, okay? We're reenacting that war that every Canadian makes fun of America over. It's like the war of 1812 or something where they burnt down the White House. It's like the one thing the Canada's ca Canadians have. Okay, it's their one claim to fame. Good God, are they gonna milk that cow until it runs dry? Whew. Those udders look like mincemeat. All right, we're looking good here. We got a little industrial zone city, inland, gold production, all the good stuff. All the good things. Boom, found a city, perfect. Guelph, drop the harbor, drop that commercial hub, get yourself up and running, dude. Say it out so, I won't go. Environmentalism looking good. How are we feeling? One more turn until the Giga War, the Ultra War, the Omega War, the End War to end all wars. Oh, that's a tank. Ah, guess what we're going to build again? That's right, more tanks. We got the seaport in Windsor, which means lots of cash. Let's quickly grab ourselves probably a destroyer. Combination of destroyers and missile cruisers to support the GDR is preferable. 
settle this city, Boosh, the mightiest of Boosh's, one might say, pop that down, get that commercial hub, and then immediately put that harbors at the top of the queue. Chop there, Oh yeah. Use that overflow to get me a destroyer, please. This empire is large and efficient. Hello, Sionduk. Sonduk, I will pontificate. Kadunk, we've got a tank army. Let's declare the war of territorial expansion. The so first things first, we want to get some damage on that GDR. And we don't want to get damage on our biplanes yet. We want to hold our horses. Aquatic center in here. What else could I build? I'm kind of running out of stuff to build in here. Oh, the year was 1773. How I wish I was in Sherbrooke now. There you go. There's, there's my song for the episode. We're doing a attack on Titan on Baltimore. Hold on. There we go. Let's bring our Navy around because we, we don't want to fight that GDR while it's in a city. That's like literally worst, worst possible case scenario. That GDR is in a city. Seriously, because it's a 153 combat strength city. It's basically uncrackable until that GDR comes forward a little, which might require a little bit of nuclear sh shenanigans. It's annoying that there's no like great war bomber that only takes oil. You need aluminum for bombers. Right, let's do, let's go for it. We take the aqueduct, we take the industrial zone, we take the commercial hub, we place them all, and it doesn't matter the order that they're built in because they all take one turn. Another rocket artillery has made it to the water. The GDR has stepped out of its cozy position. We're laying in wait. We're poising a trap. Poising, posing, flinging, something. We're somethinging a trap. That's what we're doing. Tank army completed in Ottawa. Thankfully, we have railroads so we can get over there real quick. Let's order up another tank army. Blast this guy. Move the machine gunner up. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Second machine gunner is behind, providing cover. Bring up the Rocky Art. We want to take Grape Shot so he's good against units. Now, our biplanes, this is the moment of her heroism for them. They can do serious damage here at grave sacrifice for themselves. That is key to remember. They are making a sacrifice. These men in cloth planes are flying straight into the belly of the beast, fighting the most fearsome machines known to man. The machines that have turned upon us in the Golden Crusade. What was once man's greatest ally has become our downfall. The machines have risen against us. Purge the land of heresy. Aqueduct, commercial hub, and industrial zone. The trifecta combo of getting a city up and running in the late game. There is another player to the north, presumably. Okay, it looks like he retreated back inside the city. That's not a problem. We just chill and go back to striking Baltimore for damage. Oh. Thankfully, our rocket artillery can attack the city from really far away. Kind of annoyed that he got the golden age there. But that is what it is. If this was an anime, there'd be like sick music playing right now. The kind of music that like... You know, would define someone's teenage years if they watched that anime. Ooh, a Canada-themed anime fighting robots in the frozen wastes. Now there's an idea. Okay, so he came forward and he killed my machine gunner. The bait worked. Our ruse has perfectly worked. A man in a... Cl this is the fucking machine baron over here. This one dude in a biplane just flew in and like... You know like, like that scene from The Mummy? I want to think it's that guy. It's that scene from The Mummy where the dude is like flying through the storm and he's like an aged, you know, pilot wearing like military gear, but he's like a drunk and he's like, ah, but duck, 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 duck. And he just, he just, at this super high tech giga robot, he just flies in and um, melts it with, you know, 20 caliber machine guns or whatever. Literal pea shooters. We found the England, my natural enemy, all Canadian and Irish, Irish people's natural enemy, England. We do need to deal with this GDR. And I don't know how we're gonna. I can pillage the crap out of America though. America. We combined our ships together. We got our first fleet of destroyers. All starting to come together. Come together right now. There was like some Beatles mashup that like mashed up a whole bunch of like, I can't remember what it was, but it like lives rent free in my brain. And now whenever I think of a Beatles song, I sing the wrong thing. I sing like this completely alien thing. I don't even remember Ken's on Tanje. Like who, who is this guy? I'll just put him in the capital. I don't think it matters. Peterborough. Peter. Peterborough. GDR is in position to get absolutely schmirked by machine gun fire. I need to attack with my biplanes to level them up. Washington is crumpling before our very eyes. It's a kind of magic, honestly, to watch a city just crumble into the crumbly bits. We finally have a destroyer armada, which is nice. Like these things, these things fuck. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Get that lumber mill going. Plunder the trade route. 
shoot the city. Yoink Arena, welcome to the score zone. Beep, 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 beep. 840 score. Now, I would call that pretty damn good. Especially consider considering we just stole some of America's lands. Now, keep in mind, we get score from capturing the city. We get score from capturing the population and all the districts, all these juicy districts that he built. We get the score from that. We, we just stole points from another player. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful game. I guess if you were running this challenge and you wanted to do it properly, I suppose the thing to do would be to go for the secret victory. Now, for those of you who don't know, the secret victory is when you kill all the other players in the game, but there's no domination victory enabled. And the, basically the game is like, well, you won by default, I guess, because no one else is alive, which I don't know if we have the time to pull that off right now. There's simply not enough turns left in the game. So I think if I were to give this this challenge, this whole like Canada challenge rating, I would give it like a... a, a Honestly, this isn't a very interesting challenge. It's neat, but I don't think it's as interesting as the other ones. Age of Abundance was cool. This one has like kind of more gimmickiness, but I don't think gimmickiness makes a good, good scenario challenge. Once you overcome the gimmick, which we were able to do pretty quickly here, it just becomes a sort of very vanilla. What happened to my, I think my, my motor convoy was slaughtered. Oh, well, it just becomes a little bit uh, dull, honestly. Once you overcome the central gimmick and you don't need to think about it anymore, it's like, oh, well, it's like, well, we're still playing classic case of I've won, but the game isn't over. For those of you who are familiar with that concept, score victory is like the embodiment of that. It is like, why would you ever go for a score victory? That's like going for the, that's like playing the clock out. You know what I mean? And if you're in a position where you can win a score victory, you could win any of the other victories faster. And, and that's just, that's just like, just a fact with the way that Civ works. So yeah, I don't know how I got a settler over here, but I have one. So let's use it to scout, that's the play. A little scout and settler. Everyone's done, look, everyone's done the scout and settler. Come on, no military emergency, come on. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Failed, okay, good, correct choice. All right, shoot Cincinnati, shoot Cincinnati, take the city, skadoosh, darkness has befallen America. America has fallen. We did it. Do I really have to play through 25 more turns? Could I conquer the whole world in 25 turns? I mean, it would maximize my score. There's like, there's a few hundred score in this for me for the kill people. I don't get their technology. I don't get their era score. I don't get their civics, but I would get their empire score. So like conquering Victoria would get me about a hundred points. Conquering John Kurt would get me a hundred points. You know what? I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to see if I can conquer the world in 25 turns, which means going through every single city and redirecting it. Most of them are actually building the stuff I need, honestly. It's going to take a while for my army to come online, which sucks. I know where John Curtin is. I know there's a player over here. Can I actually kill him? Well, I got to kill some unmet player too. Might discover that on the way. We have giant death robots online. Let's go straight to the capital. How long would it take me? They cost 6,000 gold. Any chance I could sell? If I trade Australia here, I can get a little bit of cash. Sell our oil. No one wants to buy nothing. All right. I respect it. We just need to get the 6,000 gold. Honestly, that means pillaging. I forgot to denounce her. I'm going to declare war. Ooh, ideological war. Boom. Get wrecked. Damn, my rocket artillery goes fast. That is scary as hell. We should unlock modern armor if we can. It would make our tank slightly better. Get that seaport. I need more gold. I need the money. Oh, hoorah. I got a destroyer over here. It'll help me scout. Maybe find that last player. I should also definitely settle for the oil up here. If I'm going to burn this much oil, it's going to be a problem. I think my ground army can handle this. I need my giant death robot to head east because there's multiple civs that way. Whereas only one civ to the north. I think my ground army can handle this. I got good ground game. Ooh, some oil. Let's settle that oil and then buy to this oil maybe. A couple of damn machine gunners over here is not good. We need to get our missile cruisers in support of this tank landing. Boom. Settle you. Buy here. I like how I just settled the city of Victoria after I declared war in Victoria. Oh, a huge flood or... or, or, or breeze in Windsor rather. I like how I called the greatest storm to ever hit the land a breeze. Okay, we took out those machine gunners. We also got a little bit of chaos happening over here. A settler in Halifax going to pick up some oil for me. Well, we found Liverpool and all the barbs that are there. Jesus. Missile cruisers can start bombarding Brisbane. We'll clear out this bullshit in here too. I don't want to leave my destroyer armada in range of this city because I don't want them to get screwed. Ideological war attack. Boom. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves another giant death robot to bring to the front. I have one over here coming up on Brisbane. We got tanks in position. I got a missile cruiser armada. I don't think leveling it up is super important right now. 
We could do some serious damage with a destroyer armada, which we will. I'm going to hold back with my slightly weaker units. We're officially at war with Victoria. Let's rush our troops in. And importantly, we actually want to pillage some of their tiles because we need the money. It's really, the really, 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 really that simple. We're low on cash, and the more cash that we can generate through potential war could lead to more giant death robots, which gives us... GDRs are incredibly efficient. Oh, shit! A radiation leak! I thought I got nuked. Nope, my, my nuclear power plant just fucking detonated itself, bro. Rip Reno. I need a builder. Get out of there, destroyer armada. It's not worth it. Do -do 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 Hit him! Giant death robot takes the city of Brisbane. We're just going to do harbor shipping in some, some of these cities. It's going to take so long for them to build stuff that we're just going to plug them down as infrastructure cities. However, we are getting more and more boats to the front line, so we can make more destroyer armadas, which I'm quite happy about. We also got some subs. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel right now. I can offer you a moderately constant stream of videos in exchange for one button click. Why haven't you clicked it yet? Click it now. Click it now. Click it now. Got a little destroyer coming out. We got a little b -b 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 builder. I'm going to put my right foot forward, settle the city. It did not destroy the barb camp. Badoosh. We killed the barb camp. Badoosh. Get that. Nice. We built a canal in Brantford. What am I going to do here? Uh, stock exchange. Woo. What do you beg? Give me a stock exchange. Woo. For that. 14 turns of gold it'll get me. Yeah. You exist to get me oil. Thanks. You're doing your job. How many people in the comment section, right? Serious question coming, okay? On your serious hats, how many of you would vote for me as emperor of the known world? How many of you would vote for me as emperor of all knowable and unknowable things? How many of you would vote for me? As king of kings, the leader of man, I'd vote for me. Take the city. Skadoosh. They have, must have an absolutely massive city somewhere. Where is it? Canberra. The greatest city known to mankind. Canberra. We must take it out. It is the last bastion of the Australian now endangered people. At least I assume so. What the hell was this map? Is this one of those like where the North Pole's in the center of the map or something? This map is crazy. That's all I'm gonna say. Also, I don't know why I brought settlers with me to the front line. I was like, maybe I'll need to like upgrade a unit or something or rest. Plus three movement on my GDRs will be helpful. Okay, I've got 16 turns to kill the world. Can it be done? Can it, is it, is it even possible? Can he do it? Can he kill Simon Bolivar, Victoria Sayondok, and John Curtin? Well, he can probably do John Curtin because he's about to. But can he do the others? It is unknown. It is unknowable. Perhaps mankind is not meant to have this knowledge. This verboten knowledge. Knowledge of the deep sea. Do, 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 do. Dude, I, I, I feel so bad for my editors right now. I actually feel so bad <laughs> for my editors. In this moment, they regretted taking me up on the job offer. I was like, yo, you guys want to like edit videos for me and get like money? Because when I was editing my own videos, I was in tune with the editing process. I'm like thinking like, okay, if I say this, this is going to mess up my editing process in this way and that way. Now I'm just like, skibbity bappy da bappa da bappa da boo. My name is Silly Johnson. And if you don't call me Silly Johnson, I'm going to give your mom my G. Oh, hello. <clears throat> I was going to finish that sentence with Johnson again, but I decided that I should at least keep my YouTube videos PG. You don't understand how many actions I have to take per turn just to be able to move the one unit I care about, which is over here. Can I rocket already to city and then can I take it with a GDR? Yes, I can. Skadoosh. I was always about to say America fell again, but I'm afraid to tell you that America has already fallen in a world coated in ice. The most dangerous man is the most peaceful one. Dun -dun. What's the what's the Canadian national anthem? I need like the uh, just a very subtle hint. Like we're we're riffing a a, a script here. I just need a subtle Canadian anthem to start playing, which is probably God Save the Queen or something. But like done in like an, an overt, you know, guitar riff and with like thump, thump. Thump. Like a real kind of like, yeah, shit's about to go down, thunk. Any of you guys want to take an upgrade? Oh, yeah. A real like thunk, thunk 
kind of like background, like clear that contamination so we can repair this district. I don't think that's ever happened to me before, which is why it terrified me. I literally, I literally thought I'd been nuked. Yeah, but I want that like real thunky, you know, like Canadian anthem playing in the background and then like the drum. Well, it's normally whatever way the, the, the drums are normally are. I want it to be, I want that bass drum to just dum, dum. Canada will rise in cinemas this December. Christmas is gonna be a banger. Hold on to your maple syrup. I need to learn how to do movie guy voice. Like, you know the trailer voice? In a world occupied entirely by ice and suffering, one nation carves an existence from marginal land. One nation, one people, one purpose. To win a score victory. <laughs> And I like, I do this like rising up out of the ice in full hockey gear. They've got like vats filled with maple syrup, like back to tanks. I, I do. I think this movie would sell. I think Canadians would fucking love it too, because it's, it's so overtly stupid. And like very clearly making fun of their stereotypes. Like we got to think of like a version of that for every, for every country, right? For every country, like Ireland, listen, the potato jokes write themselves, replace the vat of maple syrup with the vat of whiskey, you know, like it's, like this this genre of stupid you know cultural action movie writes itself and that's what's that's the magic in a world where right is wrong and wrong is driving on the left side of the road welcome to disunited kingdom dun, 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 dun. you know like that could be could be a you know i would say i pe people would buy it i'm just saying listen you don't have to agree with me you don't have to agree with me because whether or not you would agree with me doesn't change the fact that I'm right. People would pay for these movies. If only I had an infinite budget. Literally, my greatest regret in life is not being born a billionaire. Any, <laughs> anyone else relate? Any relators to the not being born a billionaire problem? Anyone in the chat born a billionaire wants to talk to me about doing some fun shit with those billions? If you have billions and you're feeling a bit of ennui and you need someone to come spice your life, hit me up. Dude, I have so many ideas. I could fulfill, I, I promise you, if you're a bored billionaire, I will give you life fulfillment, okay? B-planes, rebase. B-planes, I need you to scout, rebase. Buy planes are the best scouts in the game. <laughs> Aside from your mom scouting out my, I, wait, I, I have found everyone now, right? Oh yeah, Simon Bolivar is up here to the north. All right, I got, I got 13 turns to Merkham. All right, you go straight to Korea. One GDR to Korea. One ring to rule them all. And in the darkness, bind them. One man who's not a man is haunted by the one who wants to find him. Dun 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 dun. They call them half man or halflings. Short of stature, tall on bravery. Sam! Sam the ring! Dun 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 dun. Get off the road! I can imagine the trailer now, like a redoing of Lord of the Rings is like a stupid Hollywood action movie. Yes. Fuck yeah. But this is how I entertain myself in the late game where there's nothing happening. I just fucking, I go, dude. I go to that place where you don't have to think about anything. Pillage. London has fallen. I forgot to denounce him. I forgot to denounce him. Unrest in three turns. <laughs> We have taken London. London has fallen. Congratulations, AI. We need to kill Victoria. We need to come into the capital. I should have bought, I should have got this Grandmaster's Chapel a long time ago, but we can get it now. We can get it now, it's fine. I'll be able to faith buy a couple of extra rocket arty. I'll get myself some drones over here the second I settle these cities. It's all gonna come together, okay? I promise. I promise Stratford, place the canal, bring in the troops. We've got to take them by surprise. If they know we're coming, they'll know we're leaving. And that's no nay good. These fuckers declaring war, formal war. Why can't I do an idol? Do not satisfy the conditions. Mother ever satisfy these nuts, okay? Remember, we have to kill all of their cities. That is our win condition. Like that's the actual win condition is killing all of the cities in the game. All right, we need to kill Leeds. Let's take on Portsmouth. Portsmouth is easier. 10 turns remain in this game. 10 turns to finish it. 10 turns to end it. Montreal, welcome to the shipyard. Let's see, this modern armor would do a 
big, but if I upgrade it, yeah, I think upgrading it was worth it. We found a city we can bombard. Who cares, dude? Come on. Ooh, fascism won. That's me. I won. Portsmouth is falling. Perfect. My stupid fucking drone took a weird path and now it's going to get killed by this armored hulk. Maybe. We'll see. Grandmaster's Chapel coming in clutch. I can faith purchase modern armor on the front lines. Honestly, faith purchasing probably would have been a great way to go this game. Like if I were to do this again, the faith purchasing is kind of based. Like I can purchase a whole mechanized army for 3000 faith. You know how much faith you can produce with the right Pantheon here? I think we could have gone for like a sick as fuck Pantheon game. Oh, I totally forgot to plug in the naval, naval card. National identity might be useful here too. Levee on mass too, for my cash. I definitely did not do an optimal version of this run. And I could, I think I could, I could do a lot better now. Although to be fair, like the thing is, this is my first actual run through. So of course it's not going to be optimal, right? I mean, half the fun of these kind of challenges is not knowing and kind of going in with prior knowledge changes. This is like my authentic first attempt, you know what I'm saying? So I think, it, it, you know, this attempt has its own merit. It has its own value. It's, it's an interesting attempt because I'm actually getting pretty close here after only setting this as my goal towards the end of the challenge itself. Okay. Cruiser, attack. Drone, approach. Blast. Can we take it? We can. Blast. There's his capital, at least. So we got the plus three movement. Smart materials is good, I guess. I definitely feel like an airport here in the capital could have given me, like, a lot of mobility. I think there's definitely, like, lots of room to optimize this. Even just knowing that the burnt tiles aren't coming back would have changed how I played, like, pretty significantly. Can you get this kill? Please say you can. Okay, perfect. Blast leads once and twice. Blast, take your promotion, get in there, hit the city. Very close, very close to killing you. Korea might be a little harder. We might be able to do it though. Boom, go melee that city. Go hit the city, go melee the city. I think now meleeing the cities with giant death robots is the play. Merciful Christ. Right, Victoria is dead or Elizabeth, whatever, I don't remember. Listen, names are hard. Cannibalize him. They're going to declare a military emergency on me. No! Bogota. Bogoted. We have to keep these cities. Ugh. This GDR can almost take this city. If we smack this with a big hit and then hit. Okay, another city's fallen. We need to find one. Pillage. Cash flow. Ink. We keep it. We don't care. I think we just slap Victor in there. How do I buy a drone? www.google.com. How to buy a drone in Civilization 6. This video is sponsored by Google. It's not sponsored by anyone. I'm just screwing around while I'm trying to kill this goddamn Civ. I do kind of like seeing the whole map code coded in the Canadian Empire. Ah, radioactive steam venting. Come on, we need to finish him. Blast the city, attack. Oh, Maracaibo, how long do I have? I have five turns. Can I turn this around? Five, I think I need to throw everything, including the kitchen sink at him. All right, baby, we did it. Mm. Look at that score. 1,305, all I gotta do is kill these last two players and we can max out. Maximum possible score, get the non-standard victory condition that I totally knew about and have earned before. Definitely have gotten that one before. Never not done that. Yup. Also, you want my nuclear take. I reckon, okay? I reckon these challenges, they wanna see stats. Through achievements, through data, they want metrics. They wanna know, hey, people actually playing these things? Are, are the achievement numbers moving at all after we set these challenges? Maracaibo will fall this turn if I blast it. So now it's just down to Bogota. There is a correct way to pronounce this and I am not your guy for that. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna keep it a buck 50. I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I have enough time. Korea just has too much shit. I've got a drone over here now at least, which will increase the pace at which we conquer Korea. It's, it's possible, right? It might happen that we can beat them. Oh, we're taking hits. Commander, the giant death robot has lost several plates of armor. All right, we need to take Panama. We can get at least one hit on Panama. It did uh, approximately eight damage. Okay, rocket already to here. It can hit the city. Oh, maybe there's something we can do. Hold on. Two turns remain. Is it possible? Is it possible that victory is possible? We'll never know. It down to the wire, one turn remains. Can it be done? The whole world holds its breath. And Panama has fallen. Panama no longer a canal. Guys, I think I did it. Guys, I think I did it. I think I did it. Woo! Yeah! Uh, yeah! 
I never have to play this challenge again. Based. Congratulations, you earned a Hall of Fame badge. Victory, everyone else has lost, therefore you've won. This is the hidden victory type, not a score victory, just a victory type where everyone else is dead and no one can possibly win but you. So the game is just like, well, I guess you fucking win then. Total religions founded. Thank you guys. It doesn't even show it. It doesn't even show it because you can't. Let's go to the main menu. We want to go to our Hall of Fame. Come on now. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Hall of Fame. Robot Revolution Emperor. I won the Revolution victory. But the sick thing is, oh, here's the most beautiful part of Civ. If I just go here and I load up this autosave, watch this. Watch this beautiful, this magic, this wonderful thing that I can do. Are you ready? Tell me you're ready. Type it in the comments right now. Here's the beautiful thing. In order to win the other victory, all I gotta do is press shift enter. That's it. Literally, I just, I, I press shift enter. Boom, the turn ends itself. I refuse the peace deal because I don't, I don't care. I just want the turn to end. Like, no, no peace. Zero turns remain. This is the final turn. I shift enter again. They shoot me a little bit. A little bit of stuff happens. Nobody cares. And I win. This time I win a score victory. And thus, I have earned a simultaneous score and non-score victory. I have achieved Nirvana. Anyway, look, Hall of Fame, Robot Revolution, Emperor. We did it, baby. I love you all very much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys uh, probably never for the vast majority of you. Bye.